night, Saturday afternoon, about almost four o'clock. I got a few hours to kill before my live stream. So I decided to uh, come out here in the woods. I think I found a new cellar hole here. Nice little area. I'd say it's about a 30 by 30 cellar hole. I think it was a center stack chimney here, it all fell. I got the corner there, and a corner there, and it squares off. I think it goes down to like a brook. There's some nice rocks over there and stuff. But beautiful. Tons of grapevines. Oh my god, everywhere. That's pretty cool. Not too bad. Well, hey, I just got a great signal here. We just got here. Jazz, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to give you that view. This guy's slamming 60 62 signal. Are you seeing this? It's only down about six inches. Look at that. That's a lead pewter spoon bowl. It's a big one. Let me see if it's got the shell pattern right here. No, nope, I don't see any. That's definitely a lead pewter spoon bowl. How beautiful is that? Well, you know what you gotta do? You gotta kiss that relic, but I'm not kissing any lead, so maybe the next one. Stay tuned. Hey, thanks for coming along. She's a beauty. Let me get a picture. What was that? Beautiful, huge lead spoon bowl. That is awesome. All right, let me uh, cover this hole. Looks like I wasn't even here. Whee! That's why they call us Stealth Digger Nation. All right, remember, fill your holes. Let's keep this place looking good. Get back to the next. All right, I'm going to go look. Over there, there's something? Uh, right underneath you? <laughs> this beautiful uh, piece of pottery from uh, Jeffy. It says Royal something. It's a wedge, wood. Beautiful crest. Oh, what does it say in there? You can almost see it. Oh, it's just clear. He found a spoonage too. I don't know if it's silver though. If it is, I'm gonna kill him. Turn it over, where's the shiny side? It's not looking like copper. Not, it could be lead though, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out. No writing on it. It's got fancy on both sides of the handle though. All right, he'll clean it and send me a picture. Tell me it's silver later. Thank you. Five down there. Nug it up. Look at a pair of butt cheeks. Stop staring, North Jersey. I know. <laughs> Chain. Northeast booty hunters. What do you think that is? Booty or what? It's thin. I don't know if it's lead or what. Alright, on to the next. Scan a little more area here. I'm gonna go check out a second solar hole real quick while we're out here. I'll catch you on the next good one. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to tune in uh, tomorrow night, Saturday night, 7:30 Eastern Standard Time, PM. We'll do uh, some rollover tickets from the week before and at 8 PM. We'll start the new show. We'll do some coin roll hunting of half dollars. If I find any silver, plated, painted, proofs, hold, foreign, anything funky, I'll send them to you. And uh, there'll be four guaranteed prizes attached to four rolls, and there'll be three free giveaways. So if you're busy, just stop in and say hi if you can. I'd love to see you. All right, see you tomorrow. Park the vehicles. Oh, the steep climb just to get to here. Alright. About a uh, half mile hike. It's all up. Let's go. Alright. Alright, Jeff, I'll catch you at the top, bud. Thanks. Right, Send the rope down.
Hey, wasn't too bad. After you get over that thing, it drops down. That was a hill we had to climb for like a half mile. Get down to the road. Man, what you see that pine tree there? It is a three-legged pine tree. And it comes, it comes down to one. And that thing's got to be five foot in diameter if you got to cut it. It would take, I think, at least four or five guys. Oh, that's what's his name? Oh, no. Thought it was gorillas in the mist again. It's just Jeff. I just stumbled across something here. Let me zoom back out. Oh, I think that's the fireplace. It fell right here. Or the well. And then that's a cellar hole down in there. Alright. This one looks old. Let's see if we can find anything. Back to you in the first good hole. Thanks for tuning in. Alright, wish me luck. See you soon. Beautiful. Alright. I don't know if that's a cellar hole or uh, the barn. I'm going to find some more stacked rocks here. What? Well, let's look over. Not uh, the I see four action shoes and a nail. The rain washed them off pretty good. Yeah, I'll take them. That one's still got nails in it. That one's heavy. But hey, that looks like a pair. Cool little nail. Oh, I didn't want that for a display. That was hammered into something used as a hook, maybe, huh? Hang up your coat. Who knows? All right, let me get a picture of that. I'll put that stuff in my pouch. I'm giving that stuff away. Yeah, that thing's gonna be 10 foot round, probably five foot across there. And it splits up into three legs. This is one of the biggest pine trees I've ever seen. That's why I found the cellar hole though. <laughs> Wasn't too far southeast of it. I'm gonna go along the stone wall here, see if I can find anything. It should tee off up here somewhere. I think there's another cellar hole on the other side. Let's see what we can find. But first, you know me, I'm going to detect around that tree. All right, I'll get back to you if there's anything around there. Right, just following along some of the stone wall here. Let's see if I can get to the other cellar hole. All right, let me see if I can find it on the picture. On the side of the wall, only 20 feet off somewhere here is a cellar hole. I want to follow all the way down back to the truck. I just got a 43, you know, slamming. Six inches down, I dug it. It's a bucket lister for me. This is lifestyles. I don't know what that is. Hmm, I'll have to Google that when I get home. Some kind of protein pack, vitamins or something. Hmm, if you know, leave it in the comments below. Alright. Back to you in the next good hole. <laughs> dig here I'm not sure what it is it's jumping in the high 70s low 80s about six inches let's uh, dig it up see what it is not sure yet we'll find out that's a grunt of iron on one side of it so I'm not sure let's dig it up together My arms getting tired of swinging not many signals got a couple though I'm losing a wrap up. Let's see what's in here. Mm -hmm. there. Off just a little bit. Might be something right there. Ha, ha, ha. I found four on a rock and I dug my own. 
All right, on to the next. All right, Jazzy Jeff got a nice little pocket knife about eight inches down on his way out. That's pretty cool looking. I take that. Got a little pocket knife fine. All right, I'll see you at my wrap up later. Hey everyone, just wanted to do a wrap up to make this video a little longer so you guys can hang out in the chat and hang out with me. I do appreciate it. You guys don't know how much I appreciate you guys stopping by every week week uh, to check out my premiere videos and my uh, live streams on Saturdays so I just want to say thank you you guys are awesome and I know you're looking at six pork chops on there saying what the WTF that's right we went to a couple of solar holes that was last week when I found a toe tap flying eagle and some other stuff there heel plate but uh, we went to a, I don't know, two solar holes I think Saturday afternoon real quick before my live stream then we went and checked out two more Sunday morning before I had to go to work and uh, yeah, this is the results of it A lot of shotgun shells it was weird. I found one. I think I found the barn. I didn't find the cellar hole I think I was 20 feet from it. So we're gonna go back and check next Sunday, but if, When we go I'll take a video of that as well, but I saw these four oxen shoes sitting on a rock So I grabbed them. I think they're cool with the nails sticking out of them and everything And the rain cleaned them off pretty good but these two I dug, man. That thing is the biggest one I think I've ever seen. It's just huge. You know, compared to this. Well, these, even these are good size ones. You know? I wish I had a small one handy to show you, but one of my small shoes would probably be like this big. So that thing's a honker. About five shotgun shells. I don't know what that one is. I don't know if that was all brass at one time or what? Let's check those out. Clean them up a little bit. But yeah, found those. And then on top of the rock as well as was was this nail. I don't know if somebody nailed it into something and used it to hang their coat on or what's going on with that. That's the way it was bent. Very cool piece. I found this one. I don't know if it was a draw pull, maybe. And the way it's looking, it looks like it was either a cabinet or a draw pull. I don't know why the wire was through it though. <clears throat> that was interesting. I found got a good 50 low 50 signal and dug that. Went over the hole again, got a 53. I was like, oh, maybe it's my uh, shielded nickel. No, it's just this piece I found. Six inches down though, up by the cellar hole. Found this thing. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if it's some kind of vitamin pack or protein pack or something. This was down eight inches near the cellar hole. I don't know how it got so deep. You know, for being like foil stuff, it looks pretty modern, you know. Not too sure. Any ideas, leave it in the comments below. I'd be curious to find out what that is. Alrighty, I think that was it for the week, so thanks for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Make sure you tune in tomorrow night, Saturday, 8 p.m. Or if you want to get there early, hang out in the chat at 7.30. That's cool, too. P.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll do some rollover tickets from the winners from the week before. We'll do some mail call. Then 8 o'clock, we'll start the new show. i got 50 rolls to go through. That's half dollar rolls. 50 of them. And uh, we'll go through them. If I find any silver, painted, proofs, plated, hold, foreign, anything funky, I'll send them to you. So uh, tune in. This will be a blast in the chat. I'll have three free giveaways. Usually a silver, an old copper, and some stickers. As well as... Uh, Usually, usually four or five guaranteed prizes on the roll, so I'll throw in a couple of, you know, 40% silver halves, maybe some silver rounds, copper round, or a stealth digger token maybe. So tune in and check it out. All right, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. You guys are the best. Uh, I like to call you all my friends. So thanks for tuning in. You guys are the ones that tune in every week, so thank you. All right, take care. This has been long enough. Have a good day. Let me take some pictures. I'll see you later next week. Have some fun.